Hey guys, Melanie Gray here from 4th Street Creative and today we are going to dive right on in because I know you are super excited for this one. I'm going to show you exactly how you can make a video mock-up for your lead magnet. So if you have a seller's guide or a buyer's guide or a spring cleaning checklist or any kind of checklist or guide that you're using as a lead magnet to get people off of Instagram and onto your email list, then you might want to create something a little bit more eye-catching or visually appealing for your Instagram feed that's just not a static photo saying, hey, come grab my guide. So I'm gonna show you how you can actually easily create a video mock-up for your lead magnet and then you know post it on Instagram and get people a little bit more motivated to go and click that link in bio and get onto your email list so let's get started number one you're gonna open up your guide I'm assuming that you've made your um, lead magnet in Canva if you haven't then just upload it into Canva and you can go through the same process here so assuming that you have created your lead magnet in Canva we are using the Soho sellers guide as an example you can grab this template in our shop shop creative.com uh, the first thing that you're gonna want to do is change the timing we are gonna save this entire uh, project as a video so what you want to do is adjust the timing. So we're going to make this 0.8 and we're going to apply that to all pages. Canva makes it really easy to apply to all pages. Okay, and just so that I can play this out to see how fast 0.8 is, I'm going to hit animate and then I'm just going to apply an animation to the first page just so that we get this pop up here so that I can play it and see how fast 0.8 is. Is it too fast? Is it too slow? Is it good? I think that this is great. Um, people will lose interest if you make it three seconds, for example. So 0.8 is great. I'm gonna remove the animation. Then I'm gonna hit share, download, select movie, and then we're gonna download all the pages and just hit download. Now we're gonna wait for our file to download. And once it has, we are going to create an Instagram post and the size that I like to use is the new bigger size. So if you're interested in using that, it's 1080 by 1380 and that just really makes it stand out when people are scrolling on their phone. So the next step is to find a photo that's photorealistic. So we want to create a realistic look for your mock-up, something that will really engage your potential clients. So what I like to do is just head to photos and then type in iPad and you can search for an iPad photo that you like. Straight on is better because when you're dealing with angles, sometimes it can look a little bit um, fake and you're gonna understand what I'm talking about in a second. But uh, if another thing that I wanted to mention is a lot of these photos are pro. So if you don't have Canva Pro, do not despair. Head over to a place like pexels.com or unsplash.com and do the same process that I'm doing here. Save the photo and bring it into your free Canva account. It's the same thing. It's just a little bit easier if you have Canva Pro because you can go ahead and search through all of their pro photos as well. So you can make it as simple as this, something as straight on as this, which still looks beautiful because it has those nice shadows, or you can create something a little bit more dynamic like this so that you're bringing in a little bit of a background there. I'm gonna use this one because I think generally speaking, a lot of people would like something with a little bit more oomph to the photo. So let's say that you're using this one. The next step is to head over to elements, type in frame, and under frame, you're gonna see a iPad frame. You're gonna click that into your photo and then you're just going to adjust so that you get the sizing almost exactly matching the iPad behind it. And the reason why we're doing this is because we want to take advantage of all those real shadows that are being cast onto this blanket so it looks like our iPad belongs there. So the closer you can get to the iPad behind, the better it will look for your photorealistic iPad. You want to take advantage of these photos here. Uh, sorry for it. you want to take advantage of these shadows behind the iPad and the final step is to upload the video that you just created of your lead magnet so you're gonna head to upload media you're gonna upload that into Canva and then you're gonna pop it into your frame it's gonna pop right in and it's gonna look like this it's going to present perfectly so for me I just want to cut out that cover page so you can just head over to the crop function and then You'll see here, I wanna make sure that we get as much of the cover page as possible. If you can just adjust it and then bam, I'm done. 
and I can hit play and see how that's going to look on Instagram. You can even add some text up here, like grab my free seller's guide or whatever the case may be. But there you go. That's as easy as it gets. We have tons of questions of people asking us, how do you do it? How do you do it? How do you do it? This is how we do it. It is that simple. That is our little trick. <laughs> we just create a video and then bring it into a realistic um, mock-up. And that's how you do it. And that's it guys. I hope that this was helpful. Give me a like if you found this video helpful. And if you want more videos like this, then make sure to hit subscribe so that you get notified whenever new ones uh, hit our channel. And if you're interested on how to take your posts up a notch or how to make them look a little bit more professional, then please watch our free masterclass, how to take your posts from drab to drool worthy. It is absolutely free link below. You are going to learn so much, including the top mistakes that realtors are making right now in their Instagram designs and how you can avoid making those mistakes. So I hope you have a great day and happy designing my friends.